so hello everyone welcome back to sakina's travel diary it has been a while since we have spoken so i thought i will make a video showing montreal as well as what i ate for breakfast today so i'm just going to share what happened today so for um, making masala dosa which i ate for breakfast i'm going to share the recipe we need um, curry leaves green onions tomatoes garlic and one red chili then we need a clean pan and we will put some oil in the pan first i use avocado oil and then i'm going to transfer all these ingredients one by one in the pan for today's recipe i'm just going to use one pan to make everything the dosa the masala which is from potatoes and this um tomato chutney that i'm making so my tomatoes are softening now and i'll just let that happen for a little bit while i cook my potato and i'm also just going to grab some st strawberry juice <laughs> to keep me going and my tomatoes have started to soften they are doing very well i'll transfer my tomatoes into a blender with some water and then just blend them Blenders have made life so easy. I mean, I just love blenders because I am a juice person, so blending is my thing. So we just want to make sure that they are blended very finely so that it is a very good consistency for our chutney. So just make it into medium um um medium speed if you need to and make sure it is very smooth. looks like it is done so we will just switch it off and then again i will take the same pan put a little bit of avocado oil and then add some curry leaves and mustard seeds and once the mustard seeds are splattering we will just add our paste so this is basically our tomato chutney we will just let it simmer so that the oil separates and i also like to add some chili flakes in the end but this is completely optional my chutney is ready again take the same pan just wash it and then we will take our boiled potatoes garlic red chili and some butter in the pan and then start sauteing our um curry leaves uh, garlic and red chili and then we will put um some turmeric powder and some um salt and pepper and then mix the potatoes in so our potatoes are ready and then again we will wash the pan this time for our dosa batter so i have a uh, pre-made dosa batter and i'm just going to make dosas real quick cuz i'm hungry <laughs> okay so looks like my dosas are coming out very nice and fast so the dosas are not very flat how the traditional dosas are because i'm using a pan which i just used for cooking everything instead of a proper tawa so here my dosa and my mixture for the dosa and chutney is ready so i like to keep everything separate so i can um change the quantity of how much i am eating for every bite and i'm going to quickly finish my breakfast so that we can go to montreal man this looks delicious first bite goes into my mouth that was yum second bite and we are in montreal this is montreal city how it looks like from one bridge that connects montreal city to i think the suburbs of montreal i never thought i'll go to montreal one day but it's great to be here So today in Montreal we are going to just go by the waterfront and then go to a church 
and then maybe see some ships passing through the canals so this is a big uh, cruise ship which goes for a one and a half hour cruise they charge $35 per person and it is a fun cruise you can eat and then they like tell you about what's going on around the city and tell you about the tourist attractions from the boat so it's kind of fun and then here is a limousine wow. and a church where a lot of weddings are happening so i'm just walking around montreal seeing some french stuff from french buildings and some weddings Wow, these buildings remind me of Bombay. And then here is our Flora Fountain from Bombay. <laughs> Bombay has all these British buildings because the British rule them. Okay, and then now we are here at this beautiful little water spillway. So pretty. Water has such a calming effect. Only in Quebec you see trains getting petrol at a gas station. Oh, the beautiful rainbow. flowers from spring are still here to fall. And now, I didn't know trains were coming yet. Now we are going to go there. So I hope the train got gas and now we have Ship something coming interesting in. happening here. So in Niagara Falls there was Wheelan Canal and then the ships would pass through the canal and the bridge would open. It was so fun to and watch. So that is also open. there in Montreal. So it is so funny for me. I mean, I have never seen all these things before, so it is kind of interesting. Today I'm trying to do this voiceover in one go. Let's see how it goes. It is going to be a 10 minute voiceover video, which I am um, recording in one shot. All these canals were built like in the very ancient times because the ships that were coming via the Atlantic from Europe um, could not make it upstream from the uh, to the St. Lawrence River through the rapids. So these canals were built so that the ships could pass easily. I always try to Google and see some history of the place before actually moving there. So before moving to Quebec and Montreal. I did a little bit of research about the St. Lawrence River and how all these cities became such huge, massive cities. So what was going on in the earlier days? So the British and the French have a lot to do with it because they used the um, St. Lawrence River to get into North America. And now we are at this beautiful church, which is the biggest church in Canada. It is absolutely gorgeous and very peaceful to be here. church is so big that there are those um, elevators um, and a lot of stairs inside the church for you to go up and down there are like five levels enjoyed watching my vlog so bye bye